Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Citizens of the Stars, our weekly look at the amazing content creations made by you, the Star Citizen community. To get things started, let's throw it over to Tyler Nolan in this week's Citizen Spotlight. Hey everyone and welcome to another great edition of Citizen Spotlight. Let's jump right to it and meet this week's guest. Tell us who you are and what you do for the Star Citizen community. Um, I'm Olaf, a member of the organization Das Cartel, and I'm a graphic designer. Uh, in my free time, I do some graphic work for my organization and work on my own projects. Uh, one of these are the blueprint style posters, which you can find in the Spectrum fan art section. Uh, but I also work with a team at a German community magazine, Das uh, Der Kartellbote. Now, where did you get the idea to make these kind of posters? Well, that's a good question. I like to design prints and have made posters before. I have seen that there are still no ship posters and I want to do something good for the community. Now, is there any other ship or manufacturer that you want to do but just haven't done yet? So, in principle, I would like to offer a poster for every ship so that everyone can have his favorite ship on the wall if he wants. But there are many ships and it's a lot of work and it could be take a while. But the next manufacturer will be MISC, but I can't tell when it will be because I haven't uh, began yet. That sounds really great. I'm really looking forward to seeing much more of them. Now, one final question before you go. What are you looking forward to most in Star Citizen? I'm looking forward to discover a few breathtakingly beautiful places and I only want to have some fun hours with my friends. Olaf, thanks again for joining me today. That's all the time we have for Citizen Spotlight, but let's see what's going on this week in Star Citizen. Hey everyone, Tyler Witkin here. Welcome to another installment of Quantum Questions, where we put a developer in the hot seat to answer as many questions as they can in just under two minutes. Joining us this week is none other than Mike Jones. Mike, how are you doing? Great. Alrighty. Now, how well do you think you're going to do today? I'm going to win. Well, we'll see about that. We've got two minutes on the clock, and we're starting now. What is your name and what do you do for CIG? Mike Jones, Director of Corporate and Publishing Technology. How many people do you have on your team? 18. Now your team focuses heavily on publishing and deployment. Do any of the other studios get involved with that? Well, we lean on all the studios to help us a little bit with uh, publishing. And what is your biggest challenge in publishing? I'd say staffing. How long have you been with CIG? Since 2013, I came with the hangar module. All right. What are you most excited about coming with 3.0? Uh, probably the Delta Patcher. Good answer. How is the Delta Patcher coming along? Well, it's much faster than we even expected. We're really getting good results. All right. You can only choose one, barbecue or breakfast tacos? Barbecue. What is your favorite ship? The Correct. Is there a moon you are most looking forward to exploring? Uh, not really. I think I'm going to check them all out. Now, how do you get your hair to stand up so straight? I don't have to do anything. It's already perfect. <laughs> do you think your hair is better than Brian Chambers? I would never get a hairdo like that. It looks like a hippie. Shots fired. How do you manage to support a live environment that is online 24-7? We take shifts and we lean on studios and other time zones. Now, if you could add one thing to the Star Citizen universe, what would it be? Uh, I know we're going to get it, but I'd really like to see mining next. Okay. How do developers obtain their daily builds? We use an internal tool that's based on the same technology we use in the Delta Patcher. Okay. How many builds do we generate per day? Three to five builds per branch. Okay. How many builds are downloaded per day internally? Hundreds, maybe thousands. QA goes back and forth between builds all the time. Now, who has the best computer in the company? Chris Roberts. And who builds the computers used at CIG? Uh, our IT department builds all the computers. And how fast is our network? 
uh, two, one to two gigabits per studio, all fiber. All righty, and we are out of time. We even went five seconds over. Mike, I think that you may have just finally dethroned Brian Chambers and become the new Quantum Champion. Congratulations. Thanks, of course. I knew, I knew it. Turn down for what? So that does make 20 questions for Mike Jones, which means he is in fact the new Quantum Champion. Now just as a reminder, if you would like to contribute questions to future shows, you can head over to the subscribers den on Spectrum. But for now, let's jump over to Alexis for this week's Subconscious. I am so excited to... Why are you back there? Why is he back there? Okay. Um, actually, let me start this again. Uh, I have to notice that he's back there. And I don't even have a script. I mean, I, I don't even know what to tell the fans. I'm here doing subconscious because Alexis is not here this week. And I was finally excited about getting my moment on screen. And now it's like I have no script. It's her anniversary. Ah, I got it. So it's Alexis's anniversary. This is subconscious. I have no idea what I'm saying. This random is standing behind me. So what I'm just going to do is say Alexis will be here next week. And that's the end of subconscious. I'll see you guys in the den. It's me again, here with this week's top five and MVP. Let's get to it. Number five, Bar Citizen Japan by Zephram Cochran. Now I'm pretty certain this is the first Star Citizen event in Japan, and that's definitely worth celebrating. Now I hear they're in the planning stages for another one soon, so check out the link to learn more if you're gonna be in the area. Number four, Bar Citizen Leon by Trad Team. Not to be outdone, last week the organization Trad Team pulled together one of the largest Bar Citizen events I can think of, with reportedly over 100 Star Citizens in attendance. By all accounts, it looks like everybody had a blast, and I'm thinking I might have a reason to go to France soon enough. Number three, the 360 degree photospheres by Relum. Now Relum was experimenting with making these 360 degree panoramas, and the results are pretty cool. It's even got us talking about the possibility of adding a street view to some of our star map locations in the distant future. So good job, Relum. Wait, Relum? That's, that's the guy from the base, yeah? Ugh. Number two, my ultimate home studio by the Nubifier. Now a lot of you may know Nubifier by the many Star Citizen videos he makes, and recently he's put an impressive amount of work into improving his home studio so he can improve the quality of his videos even further. He's on the list because, well, he's a cool guy, and I like his stuff. So, you know, deal with it. Finally, number one in this week's MVP is Vandal Space by Vacation. Now how many times have you played Star Citizen and said to yourself, hey self, I wish this game had more JavaScript in it. I know I have, daily. Well, Star Citizen Vacation has you covered with his JavaScript-based game, Vandal Space. In it, you take the helm of a Terrapin stranded deep in Vandal Space and try to find your way out. You can check it out at vandal.space. And now do it before Toast finds out. <laughs> just kidding, but seriously, just do it before Toast finds out. It's probably okay, it's probably okay, just you know, don't, don't take the chance. Just do it before Toast finds out. All right, back to me, me. Well, that about wraps up this week's show. A special thanks to Olaf and to Mike Jones for appearing on the show this week. For Citizens of the Stars, I'm content manager Jared Huckabee. We'll see you next week, everybody. Jared, what the heck? I told you over and over, this is not your office. <sighs> Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.